Hey what's up nerds, Keon here with Nerd or Die, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your event list inside of Stream Elements to work with OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. An event list is a really clean and concise way to show multiple recent events on your stream without taking up too much space and having really fantastic animations. You can display new followers, subscribers, tips, hosts, and more. For this video, we'll be demonstrating using our Nova Pack, which you can find on nerdordie.com. However, this tutorial will be general enough that it'll apply to most of our packs that have included event list widgets. So, once you have it downloaded and unzipped, you just need to go into the Stream Elements folder, find the widgets link, double click that and it should load our Nova widgets into our Stream Elements overlays. Click on Edit here, and we'll be able to open up our widget overlay. Here we can see three widgets, a chat widget, a goal widget, and an event list widget. We're going to hide the chat and goals widget for now just so we can focus on the event list, but we'll be covering the goals widget in the next video. Before we go ahead, we want to add it into OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. So let's do that really quickly by hitting the copy link up here and adding a browser source in OBS Studio, then pasting the URL in the field here. Before exiting, let's set the dimensions of this to 1920 by 1080 as that is the size of our canvas. If you're not using all the widgets in this overlay and you just wanted to have the events list in a window that is wrapped around it nicely, you can simply alt and drag the bounding box on your OBS canvas. This will crop out everything that you don't want shown, letting you have a nice little window that you can now move around inside of OBS Studio without having to go back and forth into the Stream Elements editor to get the position just right. We'll do the same thing in Streamlabs OBS. Simply go to the plus button, add a browser source, put the URL in, set height and width, and hit done. Okay, so we want to test the events and see how they look. We can do that in a Stream Elements Editor. At the bottom of the screen, there's an Emulate button with a little bell. Clicking the Emulate button, we can load up a whole menu of various events, from new follower to raid events, tips, cheers, even item redemptions. It should be noted that not all of these events will show up in the list such as Merch, Emote Event, Tiltify, and Extra Life. However, everything else listed here will load no problem. Going into the Settings menu, we can open up the Fields tab and adjust things like maximum amount of events to be displayed at any given time. So we can reduce this or increase it. I'm just going to go ahead and set it to 3, and already we can see that it's changed the amount of events visible on the preview canvas. We can change things like the layout type, making it horizontal to have them scrolling across the top or bottom of the screen. If you do this, keep in mind that the widget box needs to be adjusted in the width and height. So if we quickly just go down to position, size, and style, we can adjust it. Let's set it to 1920 width, and we can see that the event list is still cut off. But if we go back up, click into the layout type, change it to vertical, and back again to horizontal, it'll update with how it should look. Play around with this and I'm sure you'll find something that's right for you. For now, we're going to go back to the original style, so let's just change this back to vertical and adjust the width back to the previous value. Or you can use the nifty little undo button at the bottom of the screen. One oddity of the undo button, however, is that these values in the sidebar won't undo themselves until you exit the stream elements editor and then reopen it. So. Even though the visual representation is vertical, the sidebar will still say horizontal. Try and keep this in mind whenever you do use the undo button. Going back to settings and into fields again, we can change so many values of this event list to make it more custom to our own style. Here we can change the color of everything from the diagonal lines that come across the screen to the border, even the shadow of the text. Moving further down, we can see that you can even change the font size, font weight, letter spacing, font type, and so on. I'm going to just change the font type here to show how it looks with other fonts, though I personally prefer the font we used. Now this next section is interesting because it actually lets you decide what events you want to omit from your event list. So say you were getting a lot of followers coming through and you only wanted to show subscribers, tips, hosts, and raids in your event list. You can click on display followers and hit no. Then they'll only come up, for example, in your main alerts. You could also use it the other way around too, whereby you only have new followers in the event list and omit any follower alerts from your main screen. There's a lot of choices to be made here, so play around with it and see what fits right for you. The next thing I wanted to point out is minimum amounts. Now, this comes as an option in a lot of alerts, so it made sense to include it here too. 
So if you wanted the event list to only show tips over $1, you could set that here. The last thing I wanted to point out is hiding the event list after a set amount of time. Say for example, you want a cleaner layout for your stream and the event list is just taking up too much real estate for your liking, but you still want to honor those who are following, subbing, donating, and supporting your dream of being a full-time content creator. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the settings panel, you'll see a section marked fade out after action in seconds. It should be set to 999 by default, which basically means the event list is always on screen. If you change that value to, let's say, three seconds, your event list will likely vanish from the canvas. Now, if you emulate a new follower, it'll pop back up and after three seconds, the event list will fade off the screen, keeping your canvas nice and clean. Again, I can't stress this enough, just play around with these things. The Stream Elements Editor is a great place to test out ideas and see how they feel. And that wraps up this video. I hope you learned something, and if you want to share your end results with us, feel free to join our Discord server, link in the description, or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns along your journey as a streamer, we have an entire dedicated help section in the Discord, or you could always reach us by our website. As always, I've been Keon from Nerd or Die, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.